Hi, this is Story Time with Sharon. The, today's story is called Who Needs Donuts? It was published in 1973 by Mark Allen Stamaty. Um, and it's read with permission from Penguin Random House Books. So here we go, Who Needs Donuts? Story and Pictures by Mark Allen Stamaty. The illustrations are just phenomenal in this book. Sam lived with his family in a nice house. He had a big yard and lots of friends. But he wanted donuts. Not just a few, but hundreds and thousands and millions more donuts than his mother or father could ever buy him. Finally, one day, he hopped on his tricycle and rode away to a big city. Look, he's got a little horse on his tricycle. to look for donuts. Wow, look at all the people. Where's Sam? I think he's in there somewhere. There he is. He's right there. He didn't find any. There he is. Until he met a man with a big wagon full of donuts. Hello, said the man. My name is Mr. Bigford, and you look like a boy who wants some donuts. I collect them, but it is very hard work for one person. Would you like to help me? Look at his tricycle is drinking water out of the gutter. Oh boy, said Sam. He climbed into Mr. Bickford's wagon and off they went. As they rolled through the streets, they passed a sad old woman sitting on a doorstep. Who needs donuts, she shouted. That's right, who needs donuts? When you've got love. He's not listening. He's eating donuts. A few minutes later, they stopped in front of a huge warehouse. Mr. Bickford unlocked the door. And Sam walked into the darkness. When the lights went on, he saw more donuts than he had ever imagined there could be. While Mr. Bickford emptied the wagon, Sam ate and played in the donuts. Wow, look at all those donuts. Then they went out collecting. Mr. Bickford knew all the best places to look. And Sam learned his job very fast. Do you see there's some donuts inside that umbrella? There's one, there's one. Together, they collected so many donuts that their wagon broke down. Oh no. Sam went looking for a telephone to call a repairman but every phone he saw was out of order. This was back when they had pay phones. It says, phone is not in working order. Place donation in coin slot.
At last, he found a woman with a big wagon full of pretzels. Her name was Pretzel Annie, and she had a telephone with a direct line to a wagon repairman. It says, Nick Smith's Wagon Repair. Automatic sprinkler, shut off valve two miles south. While Sam helped the repairman fix the wagon, something wonderful was happening between Mr. Bigford and Pretzel Annie. From the first moment they saw each other, they fell in love. Look at all the cupids. That means they're in love. By the time the wagon was fixed, they had decided to get married and open a pretzel store. Mr. Bickford gave Sam the wagon and all of the donuts in it. Don't you want to collect donuts anymore, said Sam. Who needs donuts, said Mr. Bickford, and he and Pretzel Annie ran off together. A moment later, the sad old woman walked by. That's right, she said. Who needs donuts when you've got love? Suddenly, Sam found himself all alone in the big city with a wagon full of donuts. Look, there he is. He took a bite of one, but he was too full to eat it. And the idea of collecting more didn't seem like any fun without Mr. Bickford. What am I going to do with all these donuts? He asked himself as he trudged down the street. Meanwhile, the old woman had gone home to her tiny room in the basement of a coffee factory. It says, Mrs. Assay and Sons Coffee Manufacturing Company, the coffee that tastes like coffee. And here it says, Mrs. Assay's coffee. It's real coffee. You'll know it's coffee because it looks like coffee and it tastes like coffee. And next door, there's a Pets Unlimited. And people are walking out with pets. They, there's a giraffe bird and an elephant and a turtle horse. where she lay down for her afternoon nap. She didn't get much sleep, however, because at that moment, a wild bull was escaping from the pet shop next door. It charged into the coffee factory, butted a hole in a giant vat of coffee and ran away. The coffee poured out all over the floor, down a stairway, and into the basement. Do you think he can catch that bull with that net? I think it's too small. When the old woman woke up, she found herself over her head in a room full of lukewarm coffee. Help, save me, she cried. I can't swim. Sam heard her screams, but he couldn't swim either. So he had to think fast. He pulled the donut wagon over to the window. Who needs donuts, cried the old woman. You do, said Sam. He tilted the wagon and poured all of the donuts in, down into the basement. The donuts soaked up all the coffee, leaving the old woman sitting in a shallow puddle. You and your donuts have saved my life, she said. How can I ever repay you? She offered him her meager life savings to buy more donuts, but Sam refused. Who needs donuts, he said. I've got love. He said goodbye, hopped on his tricycle, and rode home. And that's the end. I think this might be one where you can stop the video and look at these pictures because there's a lot going on. I hope you enjoyed that story. I've got another one coming up soon um, that I'm really excited about. So this one was one of my favorites um, from the 70s. 
I collected a lot back then. Stay tuned, come, come back, and um, there will be more story time with Sharon. Take care, bye-bye.